Hi everybody, this is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a new post for your WordPress site. So after you first log in, you will more than likely see the dashboard and then on the left hand side menu, when you watch this video the menu may not look just like this because it changes based on the new updates and even plugins that you may have, but chances are the post section will always be called posts. And so when you hover over posts, wherever it may be on your installation when you watch this, when you click on all posts, you see a, a listing of all the posts you have on your site. You click on add new, it allows you to create a new one. When you click on categories, you can add and edit the categories for your posts. And for tags, you can add and edit tags for those posts and we'll cover those in another video. But for now, just to add a new post, all we do is click on add new. And at the very top bar, you enter the post that you want to write about. So my post is going to be called Big Blue Airplanes. Can't spell today, or ever for that matter. And after you've entered a title and you click into the, the main content area, you often see the permalink appear right here. And I don't have permalinks customized right now, so it just says question mark P equals 811. 811 being the page ID. I'll show you in a later video as well how you can customize those permalinks. In fact, you can just click on this link and it takes you to the page where you customize them, but that's again for another video. And in the main content area, you can just type in your content. You can just start writing, and I'm just going to write a really short one. This post is about airplanes. And then you see various things like the word count at the bottom. So if you want to make sure all your posts are a certain number of words, you can see the word count down here. You can see that there's a draft saved at 626 p.m. And then there's a bunch of options on the right hand side. So the ones we're going to really concern ourselves with for the purposes of this video is the publish section. If we're not yet done writing the post, we started but we're not finished, we can save it as a draft. And if we are done and we're ready to go, we can click publish immediately or publish immediately is the, is the default. So if you click publish, it publishes right away, but you can also post date it. So you could publish it tomorrow, next year. You could even have it published a decade from now. And it also goes the other way. So you can backdate your post. So you could publish, you could set this to publish or set the date on the post to be 1910. A lot of people will be skeptical whether you actually publish it in 1910, but you can do that and that can be the official date on your post. So I'm just gonna keep it published immediately. You can change the visibility to be public and stick this post to the front page. That's an option for this theme. Not all themes will have this checkbox. You can also password protect the post, which means that if anybody goes to this post, this exact URL, they will have to enter whatever password you enter here in order to see it. And you can also make the post private, which means only people who are of an admin level on your WordPress site can see the post. They have to log into the site first and then they can see the post. But I'm just gonna keep it as public and publish immediately. And I'm ready right now to publish, so I'm gonna click on publish. This takes a few seconds and then you can click the view post link right here to see what the post looks like. And don't mind the theme, it's quite ugly right now. I haven't spent any time customizing it. But what you do see, what's more important, is Big Blue Airplanes is the title we just created. And this post is about airplanes, is the content we created for that post. And that is the basics of how you publish a post. Thank you for watching. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. I hope to see you at the next video. Until then, make sure you subscribe to the channel, you like us, you follow us, and check out WP Learning Lab where we write daily about all things WordPress. I'll talk to you soon.